It is buyer beware in this red hot real estate market. An example tonight of what can go wrong from a buyer whose dream home suddenly became a termite infested nightmare. He is claiming fraud in a complaint filed with the Department of Business and Professional Regulation. Now we went to the realtor asking why key issues were not disclosed and why she knew about it or if she did know about it and about this unlicensed inspector who checked the place for bugs. Eight on your side investigator Walt Buteau is joining us tonight with follow up to an investigation you've been on for a while now. Yeah, absolutely. And imagine being a buyer with a mortgage for a home you never moved into. This local family is paying that mortgage right now. And now as they ask the court to order the seller to buy it back, the frustrated buyer also filed a complaint to get state regulators involved. Did you know about that other inspection? Dalton Wade realtor Laura Keyes silent when we asked her about the recent sale of this Tampa home. There are contradicting inspections tied to the property. One from January indicating visible evidence of wood destroying insects. Shortly after that inspection, a deal to buy the home fell through. Another report from April indicating no visible signs of termites. Records show Keyes was the seller's realtor during both inspections and requested the second one conducted by unlicensed exterminator Joe Mendoza. How did you not find termites in that building? Mendoza faces three misdemeanors and four felonies, including allegations he filed a false inspection for that Tampa home. Jonah Huggins bought the split level in April and claims the January discovery of the termite issue was never disclosed. Our game plan was to get married, go on our honeymoon, come here and start our family and everything was going to be perfect. The problem with it is after a couple days, termites just swarmed from everywhere. Why wasn't that disclosed, Miss Keys? Why wasn't that disclosed? Keys again, not talking. According to the Mendoza arrest warrant, text messages showed that Mendoza worked multiple other jobs for Keys, including the home Huggins bought. Huggins' attorney alleges the sellers and Keys purposely concealed the termite issue. Someone is selling their home and they know of something that would really impact the value of that home. And if they disclose it, then they're not going to be able to sell it for more or even be able to necessarily sell it. Keyes said she did not know Mendoza was unlicensed according to court documents that also state Keyes and her broker Dalton Wade denied they breached their duty to Huggins or caused financial damages. But Keyes is unwilling to talk about it. We just want some answers. Huggins also alleges the seller did not disclose the bottom floor of that home was connected to a failed septic system. He says connecting the to the home the uh, the home to city sewer has cost close to twenty thousand dollars. So you've got a civil lawsuit brewing out there. You got a complaint with the state. What are the uh, the the barriers? What do you need to do if it's going to go with a criminal charge, or even could you file criminal charges? Well, so that would be up to the prosecutors. But we did talk to a legal expert, and she tells me it's all about intent. If it can be proven a realtor knowingly intended to defraud someone or a lending institute, criminal charges are possible. And she said inspection reports like we have here would be key documents in a case like that. Mm -hmm. That's right. a good point. You make the bank would be very interested in all of Absolutely. this. Absolutely. It was a VA loan, and there's a thought that the VA is so strict. If they knew there were termites, they don't approve no the loan. Go, yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. If you have something you want Walt to investigate, call our eight on your side helpline at 1 800 338 0808.